hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of engineering thermodynamics and so far we have discussed uh, uh, various basic concepts related to engineering thermodynamics starting from the introductory concepts the basic outline of our discussion about thermodynamic system uh, thermodynamic properties process cycle and uh, the macroscopic and microscopic point of view classical and statistical thermodynamics so in this video we are going to discuss about another important concept uh, which is thermodynamic equilibrium so before uh, discussing thermodynamic equilibrium let us have a quick look at all the related things which will come into play here which we have already discussed before but still let us just discuss them in a quick way so when we are discussing about thermodynamic equilibrium it is very much related to thermodynamic properties so the thermodynamic properties they describe the state of a system the characteristic of a system so any system to study any system and the surroundings the behavior we have to use various terms and uh, to study the the, the, the system and its behavior with the surroundings certain characteristic features are used which give us information about it so they are called as thermodynamic properties the most commonly used thermodynamic properties they are pressure temperature volume and other properties are also used but most commonly from a, in a thermodynamic discussion we have pressure temperature and volume so the thermodynamic properties there are of two types intensive properties and extensive properties the intensive properties are those which are related to the mass sorry they are they are independent of the mass of the system or we can say they are independent of the size or extent of the system okay the intensive properties they are independent of the size or extent of the system and they vary from one place to another the in intensive properties are not additive in nature and they are functions of both position and time we have already discussed about intensive and extensive properties in detail in the previous video so please check out that video first okay here i'm just uh, discussing it in a quick way the extensive properties are however related to the mass or the size or extent of the system so it is additive in nature suppose we divide a system into n parts then the value of the extensive property will also be it will get equally divided so when we combine these parts we will get the whole extensive property so it depends on the size or extent of the system and the extensive properties can also change with time so if i want to give you a quick example mass is an extensive property suppose we have we take a substance or any matter an object of mass m and divided into 10 equal parts each of those that equal the part will have a mass of m by 10 when we combine them we will get the whole mass but that is not true for temperature and pressure it is not necessary that each of the equal part that we have divided it will have a temperature of t by 10 or a pressure of p by 10 it will be different it will be different from each other each of those 10 parts will have different temperatures different pressure values but same mass so mass depends on the size or extent of the system because it is an extensive property it is additive in nature but the intensive property it is not additive in nature it will be different at different places it is dependent on both position and time and it is independent of the size and extent of the system now we have discussed about thermodynamic properties so what is thermodynamic equilibrium so it is a very important concept thermodynamic equilibrium from the point of view of system surroundings and boundary so a system is said to be existing in a state of thermodynamic equilibrium when there is no change in any of the macroscopic property that is 
प्रेशर टेम्परेचर वॉल्यूम और एनी अदर मैक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टी माइक्रोस्कोपिक मीन्स कंसिडरिंग द सिस्टम एज अ होल ओके माइक्रोस्कोपिक कंसिडरिंग द एटॉमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर बिहेवियर्स क्लासिकल एंड स्टेटिस्टिकल थर्मोडाइनामिक्स ओके सो माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रॉपर्टी कंसिडर्स द सिस्टम एज अ होल सो वेन देर इज नो चेंज इन एनी ऑफ द properties microscopic properties of the system namely pressure temperature volume because these are commonly used in thermodynamic study analysis of system so when there is no change in any of the microscopic properties of the system then the system is said to be existing in thermodynamic equilibrium and there is another important condition which is that the system should be isolated from the surroundings okay so an isolated system is one in which there is no interaction between the system and the surroundings there is no transfer of mass or energy across the boundary it is a fixed mass and energy so we have already discussed about thermodynamic systems open closed and uh, isolated system in isolated system there is no interaction between system and surroundings in closed system there is transfer of mass across there is no transfer of mass across the system but there can be transfer of energy in and out of the system okay again i repeat in closed system there can be transfer of energy in and out of the system but no transfer of mass it is a fixed mass system closed system is a fixed mass system so in closed system there is transfer of energy in and out of the system but no mass transfer okay so it is also called as control mass system closed system fixed mass or control mass system then we have is the open system in which there is transfer of both mass and energy in and out of the system and uh, it is called as a control volume system so in open system there is transfer of energy in and out of the system there is transfer of mass in and out of the system okay so we have already discussed about these things so you please check out the previous videos okay now the characteristics of a system uh existing in thermodynamic equilibrium is that there can be no sudden or spontaneous change in any of the microscopic properties for a system in thermodynamic equilibrium there can be no sudden change and an isolated system in a you know certain course of time it will reach the state of thermodynamic equilibrium okay and it cannot depart from that state suddenly okay without any external provocation so it has to it has to have an external force which causes the state of thermodynamic equilibrium it is forceful in nature it is not spontaneous okay so it is always forceful some external force causes the system to depart from the equilibrium state so the important characteristic feature of thermodynamic equilibrium is that the system should be isolated from the surroundings and no change in the any of the macroscopic property pressure temperature volume or any other parameters that is considered now to for the system to exist in thermodynamic equilibrium there are certain conditions that must be satisfied and they are three equilibrium conditions must be achieved they are mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium and thermal equilibrium okay mechanical chemical and thermal equilibrium so let us discuss one by one what mechanical chemical and thermal equilibrium is so mechanical equilibrium so a system is said to be existing in mechanical equilibrium if there is no unbalanced force or you know no uh the pressure between the system and the surroundings okay internal and external of the system it is the same there is no change or there is no unbalanced force 
within the system or between the system and the surroundings the pressure uh, difference is the same so force and pressure they are uh, almost the same they are the same thing so we can understand it that there is no unbalanced force within the system or there is no difference of pressure between the system and the surroundings when that that happens the system is in mechanical equilibrium if such a difference in pressure or an unbalanced unbalanced force exists then both the system and the surroundings will undergo a series of changes till mechanical equilibrium is attained okay so mechanical equilibrium a system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium when there is no unbalanced force or no difference of pressure between the system and the surroundings if that is not so then the system will undergo change till the unbalanced force gets balanced the pressure difference becomes you know equalized it becomes the same so that is the condition for mechanical equilibrium then is chemical equilibrium a system is said to exist in chemical equilibrium when there is no chemical reaction taking place within the system or no transfer of mass or matter chemical products or whatever there is no transfer of any kind of mass or matter from one part of the system to another between the system and the surrounding so no chemical reaction should take place no transfer of mass between the system and the surroundings so if the system is not in chemical equilibrium then there will be a transfer of mass between the system and the surroundings till chemical equilibrium is attained okay so for chemical equilibrium the condition is that there should be no chemical reaction no transfer of mass between the system and the surroundings next is thermal equilibrium so thermal equilibrium Uh, we will understand it in this way suppose a system is both in mechanical and chemical equilibrium okay a system is in both mechanical and chemical equilibrium and it is separated from the surroundings by a diathermic wall a diathermic wall is one which allows heat to flow in and out of the system it allows heat to flow in and out of the system so the system is both in mechanical and chemical equilibrium separated from the surroundings by a diathermic boundary diathermic wall which means heat can flow in and out of the system if there is no change in any of the microscopic property of the system pressure volume temperature whatever then the system is said to be in thermal equilibrium okay so if not it will undergo changes there will be transfer of heat energy in and out of the system till thermal equilibrium is attained okay so thermal equilibrium condition is that the system should be in mechanical and chemical equilibrium and there should be no transfer of heat in and out of the system or no change in the macroscopic properties detected and the system is separated from the surroundings by a diathermic wall so a diathermic wall allows heat to flow in and out of the system so no transfer of heat energy in and out of the system for a system existing in both mechanical and chemical equilibrium is said to be existing in thermal equilibrium so when all these three conditions thermal chemical and mechanical they are satisfied then the system is said to be existing in a state of thermodynamic equilibrium and when the system exists in thermodynamic equilibrium it cannot depart from that state suddenly without any external provocation without any external force okay so this is the concept of thermodynamic equilibrium so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much